Welcome to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies North American Trapper Education Course. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate common land sets with foothold traps. But before you go out and set any trap, always check your state and local trapping regulations. At the conclusion of this video, you should be able to demonstrate making several types of land sets using foothold traps. We always encourage you to select traps that meet BMP standards. Also, always check state and local trapping regulations before setting any trap. Some of the sets we demonstrate in this video may not be allowed in your area. In this video, we're gonna talk about making land sets using foothold traps. The definition of a land set varies from state to state, but generally refers to traps that are set over land on or above the ground or snow. There are dozens of set types that can be made using foothold traps, but in this video, we're gonna cover dirt hole set for coyotes, a flat set or a pee post set, a cubby set for bobcats, blind sets, and enclosed trigger trap set specifically for raccoons. Obviously, before we make any type of set, we need to know that the species that we are targeting is using the area. Look for tracks, scat, and evidence of feeding in these areas. This will help you direct where to make your sets. The second thing we want to consider before making a set is how to avoid capturing non-target animals. Even though it is often possible to release a non-target animal unharmed, it is still best to avoid catching them in the first place. For example, if your coyote trap has a skunk in it, it can't catch a coyote. With any foothold set, we want to make sure that the trap is bedded well so it doesn't rock or tip under the animal's foot. We also want to anchor it so that the captured animal cannot escape with the trap. Be sure to stake the trap to hold the largest animal that is likely to visit the set location. We can use a variety of anchoring systems for foothold traps, but the most common one is to stake the trap in place on a short chain. The first set we will make today is the dirt hole set for coyotes. The dirt hole set is designed to mimic a mouse hole or a food cache where another predator has been digging. This set is widely used for all predators, but especially for canids and felids. We chose this spot because it is downwind of a coyote travel corridor. We want the coyote to approach from only one direction of the trap. So we're gonna use some backing and in this case, gonna use a little clump of grass for a backing so that we know which direction the animal is gonna approach the trap. We will be burying the trap under a shallow layer of soil to conceal it. So the first thing we'll do is to dig the dirt hole and the trap bed. The dirt hole can be shallow or deep, but should be at a sufficient angle or depth so that the animal that's approaching cannot see the bait or lure at the bottom of the hole and must use his paws to dig it up. We are going to anchor this trap with a rebar stake. Uh, you can also use an earth anchor for these. The trap is attached to a short chain with swivels and a decelerator spring to prevent any injury to the trapped animal. The chain is then attached to the stake that is pounded deep into the ground. It is important to note that we want to keep the trap as odor free as possible. Many predators are leery of human scent, but we also want to keep the smell of our bait and lure off the trap that we're using. We don't want the animal to dig up our trap because he smells it. Now a flat set is made similarly to a dirt hole set with a few modifications. A site is selected and the trap is set and bedded similarly, but there is no dirt hole. Instead, the trap is placed adjacent to an object that an animal might be curious about or urinate on. This could be a bone, a stump, a rock, almost anything that would attract an animal's attention. Additionally, instead of leaving the ground obviously disturbed, the trap bed is blended into the surrounding area, so there is no evidence that a trap has been set. A peep post set is just a flat set that is designed to encourage an animal to urinate on the attractant object. In this case, the attractant might be a stick, a rock, or a tall clump of grass. Urine from the target species is squirted on the object to mimic a natural pee post set. Like the dirt hole set, flat sets work for many species of predators, including fox, coyote, 
wolves, and bobcats. Let's make a cubby set for bobcats. This set is made by constructing a cubby that encourages the animal to enter through a single opening. It can be very effective for bobcats, raccoons, skunk, and fisher, but generally does not work well for canids. The cubby can be made from materials found on site or some from manufactured shelter that is transported to the site. Now bait or lure is placed inside the cubby and the trap is bedded at the entrance to the cubby. Although it often is slightly concealed, it is often not necessary to hide the trap completely. In addition to scent-based lures, bobcats are often attracted to flapping feathers or other sight attractants. A piece of tinsel, a bird wing, or large feather, or even a CD hung over or near the trap can draw cats from some distance away. A blind trail set can be effective for many species that regularly use a specific trail or fence crossing. This set consists of a bedded or staked trap that is set on a trail with the knowledge that a passing animal will eventually step on the trap pan. The trap may be concealed or exposed depending on the target species. Stepping sticks, pebbles, or cones are carefully placed around the trap to encourage the animal to step directly on the trap pan. No bait or lure is typically used at a blind set type. Enclosed trigger traps are designed primarily for catching raccoons. Typically, the trap is staked down in an area frequented by raccoons. It is baited with either a sweet bait, a marshmallow with jam on it works well, or a meat bait, often fish or shellfish, by placing the bait inside the trap behind the trigger. Raccoons are generally not trap shy, so the trap can be left completely exposed. A golf ball or other covering can be placed over the trap opening to protect the bait from rain and snow and non-targets. Thanks for watching this video on the demonstration of common land sets with foothold traps. Please be sure to check out the BMPs and other trapping resources on the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies website.